Well, hello everybody, and thank you everyone for all the awesome backing you're doing of the game. Today we're not in front of the computer. Instead, today we're at the bench, because I wanted to show you some actual physical tangible items. Yes, I did show this in a quick photo update last Friday, but I want to show you more now. This is the cartridge we're going with. There's going to be some slight changes on it. My printer explains to me it's better not to have this backer number on here. Instead, we're going to have a sticker on the back that has Kickstarter backer number that way all these stickers are consistent also we're not going to have the sticker on the top when I place it inside of the ColecoVision or inside of the Coleco Atom this is stands out so there's really no reason for a secondary sticker on top when you can see it here so that's the change today other than that these are the cases we're going with very strong very solid I have 128 of them on order right now with all the internals Next thing is, as part of our stretch rewards, you're going to have the option of choosing a Coleco Atom data pack with the game on it or a coffee mug. This is an example of the coffee mug. This is my coffee mug I use every day. This is the coffee mug that's going to go out. It's not going to say Nerds Rule on it though. The coffee mug is going to have Crazy Climber Redux on it, custom printing. But I just want to show you how big the mug will be. Nice solid white mug. So we have that. Let's just stack these things up here on the side. And this is the data pack that'll go out. I'll be making each one of these data packs. I make data packs all the time. Each one's a custom data pack on a brand new audio cassette that's been converted over to data pack usage. It's going to have a custom formatting on it, so it's not just a plain old data pack. It's going to be a special data pack just for Crazy Climber Redux. So those are for the stretch goals. Every backer, once the campaign ends, I would need to find out from you which one you want. And these are for backers that have the $50 or more. If you're backing digital only at $30, you don't get the hard copies, uh, the hard items, the physical things. If you want them, you need to move up to the $50. So let's get them out of the way. And then we have the manual completed. It's designed similar to the ColecoVision manual. It's a slightly different size just to fit on standard papers. I printed this one up on my inkjet here so it's not too good in quality wise but my printer who's going to be doing this these labels and doing something else to be showing you will also be doing these and they're, I believe they're doing the mugs too so just a quick review cover cartridge instructions when you open it up you have like original ColecoVision manuals you have a game description then you have how the controller is used for this game it explains the single and dual controller modes then how to play, what you need to do to play the game. Then the game screen, it gives you an idea of how the game screen works. The scores, the heights, the difficulties, and everything. And then the next page explains the obstacles, the damage, and the death that happen in the game. Then we have the baddies, the falling, flying, crawling baddies, the bosses, and how you win the game. Then on the back, it explains how the game editor works. You know, when I was writing this up, I realized how in-depth this game is. There are 24 baddies or enemies in this game. That's an awful lot. I didn't realize I was going along, but there's 24 baddies in here. There are 16 different levels slash worlds slash buildings. And then there's multiple difficulties. And then, just to just forget some shiggles... The game editor will let you play with all that. There is an option in the game editor too that lets you play with gravity. So you can set it so things never fall, they just float and you go around them. Or you can set it so that you're on Jupiter and they fall like a rock. All kinds of stuff you can do with it. You can just have fun with this when you play in the game. You don't even have to try to get to the top. Let me just see how I can modify this game and find something new. We will have on the website, right now if you go to 8bitmillie.com slash cc, it redirects you to Kickstarter. Once Kickstarter is over, the slash cc will be the homepage for Crazy Climber Redux. And I will have a listing on there of all the various game codes that I have for editing. And if you find any new ones, you submit them to me. And remember, it's not just one game code. You don't just enter one game code and go. You enter multiple, as many as you want. So you can really customize things and then try it and see what happens. So that's that. And there will be details on the website that tell you how the game codes work. So you don't have to, like, randomly plug in letters. It'll give you a concept of how they work.
And anybody who is a $100 backer or over gets the source code. So having the source code, which is fully and totally commented, and being able to see how data is stored in the RAM will really help you figure out how to play with the game editor. So we got that. And that, obviously. Then the last thing, this is the mock-up of the box. We have samples coming of the various stock that we need to choose from and then we will lay it out and have more printed up and cut up everything but this is it's a standard Clegal vision box size inside it will have it's hard to say but inside it has a catcher to hold the cartridge in there you can also put your manual in there like so and cartridge And I didn't check, but can you? Maybe you can put the data pack on the other end. Let's see. You can put the data pack on the other end. See that? Data pack on that end. Cartridge. And label. I mean, cartridge and manual on this end. All ready to be put up on the shelf. This is going to have a very nice design that matches with the aesthetics of Crazy Climber and its 8-bit design. It's not just going to be... I, I sent out a update a while back where I was playing with mock-ups and I was using this classic ColecoVision arcade box design. And I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I, I want this one to stand out. I want this one to be its own thing. And because 8-Bit Millie Games is going to come out with more games, I'm going to come out with a design that fits multiple games and not just take away from what was done in the past by somebody else. So there's our update for today. It's a physical update. And if you're curious about the code, the code is coming on awesomely now. I have chased down, I believe, the last of the bugs. And I'm um, tinkering with the sounds more now. I am sending out the other three songs, the sheet music, out now, today, to have them um, recoded so that they will go into the system and they will play the music. That's for the Entertainer, the Pink Panther theme song, and for Donkey Kong Country theme. Um, I have ordered, and well, I'm waiting for the confirmation of the order, for 128 cartridges, like that. And we're whipping along fast, very fast. You have a great day, and if you're not backing CCR, you should be backing CCR. CCR is an awesome thing. I'd love to have you back it. Have a great day.